podcast. All right, so this is the start of my week off, and um, for the first couple days, I'm mostly just you know relaxing because I do want to take time off of work. But my ulterior motive for taking time is is to bedline this. That is hopefully my goal that in uh, seven or eight days' time, this will be bedlined. That's that's my hope for this. But I've got a couple of uh, little things to go on. So, I mean, this video is just going to be a scatterbrain one where I'm just listing off little things I got to do. Like, I got a, these have still been sitting here. Again, I only got the, the one bolt out here, which it gives me hope, at least. It gives me hope that it's like, okay, I did it. I, you know, I got, I got one out. And the brackets for the back seat have got to come out. I've, I've seen the bolt. The heads are not stripped. The, the bolt on the inside is just spinning with it. So, um, if I get a pair of vice grips on that and then, or have someone help me to, get these out I think these will come out fine and um, I'm not sure what I gotta do to replace them yet but that's one thing at a time you know what I mean just getting them out and then putting them back um, putting them back into just getting the bolts back into not you know blast over the area where the bolt will be will be good um, then we got this which I've never used and with with my top I will probably never use I don't really need a I mean you know it'd be nice to have a back uh, defroster and windshield wiper, but this doesn't have it, and really, I, I don't really need it. It's not something I necessarily need. Um, so my goal is to get this out, hopefully. I mean, I follow this. This, this isn't here now. This just all pulls out. I don't know if these, I think these, uh, yeah, these are like kind of very simple. I think they just, yeah, go to the, they either go to the side or they pop out somehow. I'll, I'll get there again, you know, one thing at a time. This pulls out, and then that follows all the way down into there, and hopefully that's just going to disconnect real easy for me. Usually things like that do disconnect easy. Getting this out will be good. Um, now I was discouraged because uh, I had a friend of mine who works on Jeeps all day. It's his, you know, it's what he does. He told me these are unbelievably a pain to get out and I'm already having trouble with basic things. So I'm, I'm thinking these might not be coming out of here. I might just do my absolute best to spend, you know, like two hours even just trying to mask tape off so this is completely covered and just, just bedline over it. I mean, not, you know, not bedline over this raw the the seatbelt thing here but uh just get as much tape on it so it doesn't you know get any of it and just go right over it because i don't want to mess with too much stuff i'm already going to be i've already tested that these these come out pretty easy this can go right up this uh should come out then i should just be able to tie this over here and i'll just take the seat belt here and i'll just uh you know tie it off and you maybe even just mask the whole thing there it's gonna be a lot of mass it's gonna be a lot of prep work is the thing but i'm okay for that when that time comes though it'll be like It'll probably be just like straight up two days of me just doing that. I might just put the camera on like lapse time to go over it. Um, then I got stuff like this where I need to... I guess this isn't my primary concern, so I really shouldn't just... I shouldn't even think about that. What I am doing right now, though, and pr praise the lords, because uh, that bolt is actually turning, so... I, uh, I didn't get the PB blaster that was suggested to me. Um, I just didn't have time to order. I just I had the WD-40 already, and I've been soaking these for... Probably a month now, probably a month. Not like day after day, but like three or two or three times a week for a month. So, over a month. So, these are all soaked. Again, the I've been underneath it and I can see this one and I can see those two. I cannot get to the ones in the front. I don't know how that works. I think it's under this because there's no spot underneath to, to actually get to it. I'm not, um, like, let's see. Oh. So, these ones in the front should be. Yeah, it's like I can't. They're they're like in, they're they're in here. I, I because it should be. I know it's kind of you don't get the depth perception, but it's like it's inside this. I don't know what this is. This isn't. Uh, I don't know if I really like this thing. I don't get the the point of this. I don't know if it's to put the but the, you know, there's no way in here. I don't. There's uh there's no way to access those. So if if those, hopefully it's not like the bolt inside. Cause I, I wouldn't know what to do. I mean at that point. I'd be in a lot of trouble, but if it just the head strip and I'd have to drill it out, which I don't want to do, but you know, it'd be nice if, I, I mean, I don't mind the time. I've already spent like 20 minutes on this WD-40, you know, give it a twist and a half, pull it back down, you know, just very slow, like a twist, all the way back down, a twist, all the way back down. I'm not even like really, you know, going as far as I could possibly go. I don't want to strip it. I don't mind taking an entire day to get one bolt out as long as I don't have to do any, you know, other work. Slow and steady wins the race. And that's always been true with me. I don't mind taking my time to do a good job. And, uh, let's see, then I gotta get the, uh, I got the piece of metal that'll be perfect for this. I'm just gonna try and cut it out to match the, the rough size and 
just bonded it in there and then bed line over it. I know that's not, you know, again, professional. I saw this, I'm actually debating to order this stuff. It was like, uh, it was like POR, like sealer or something. It was like a little tube. And they said it was like, you know, it goes, it, was, it works the same way as POR, but it works like a glue and you can seal things. And they've done things instead of like welding, like it hardens just like POR15 and it's like the strongest stuff and it really seals it in. So I'm debating getting that. I don't know how well the Bondo actually works. I've never used Bondo before. So I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about ordering that stick because I've just had great results with PR15 so far, obviously. I mean, the front looks great. I'm really happy with that. The only other spot I'm gonna PR15 is actually under that. I don't know if you can see the, the rust there. And a little bit there. And I did, I was going under my frame while I was under here. And uh, I mean, this is, yeah, this is not good. I know. I mean, you don't, someone doesn't need to point out to me that it, you know, it's like, oh man, that's not good. I know it's not good. I got this thing cheap and I, I know this, this isn't gonna last me my whole life. I'm aware of that. All right, sorry about that interruption. I actually uh, got a call from my cousin who is coming over to help me put in my radio, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I just wanted to point out that I did not, I didn't know this was here. I knew this was kind of bad over here, but I mean, I, I just I just went at it with my hands and there's, I can feel a, a little bit of a hole there. So now I'm debating, I mean, that, is, I believe it's just right over underneath in here somehow. I'm not sure. I mean, like I said, I, I look, it's, this isn't, this isn't my for life Jeep. What I'm doing to it right now is, if I didn't do anything to this right now, I think I could get another year, maybe two years if I'm lucky. If what I'm doing right now, I think will give me two to three years solid. And then after that, you know, I, I don't know, it might become a part out. I don't wanna, I don't wanna think that far down to the road, but. I have to, you know, I don't know if they uh, claim unsafe vehicles at a certain point. I mean, honestly, this shouldn't even have been able to be sold to me, but if it becomes a part out, you know, it does. It can't be helped. But I'm trying to think that far down the road. I'm trying to focus on the here and now. So little things like that aren't, there's not gonna, you know, it's not in the frame. It's kind of like underneath the body. So what to do about it, I'm not entirely sure. I got people to ask, I got plenty of friends, so we'll see how that goes. But like I said, this isn't a forever project, but um, where am I going, right? But uh, I did, uh, my cousin who knows more about wiring than me is coming over, and we're gonna get this stinking stock radio. I haven't talked about this thing at all, but I, had to, I pulled this out of here when I first started because I've had a radio for a long time that I got for Christmas two years back and just never installed it into my 97 because it had a good radio. And then uh, I, I got this one right here this, this is not, uh, I, the, the volume, you turn it down, it goes up, you turn it down, it doesn't do anything, you turn it down again, it doesn't do anything, you turn it up, it goes down, it's, it's bizarre, I hate it, I mean, just like the rest of the car, the car, it's really been abused, it won't play any CDs I have, I don't know if it's the, the format or anything, but it's not gonna matter, because I got myself a harness, because everything so far, I mean, you know, don't, don't take me as a complete fool, I, I, I foresaw into the future where, that I will not have this you know, 10 years from now. So I bought everything, every accessory I've put on this so far, and um, including this now, is gonna be backwards compatible. This harness should plug right in, it should. I haven't, I'm gonna take it out right now because he's coming over, but this should plug right into the uh, stock, and then I can just cut into these wires and uh, hook it up that way. And if I ever take it out, take out the radio, cut these wires, unplug this, put the stock one back in. Simple, that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna, this thing's gonna be getting out of here and I'll actually be able to listen to some decent music because I'm, I mean, I'll throw on the radio every once in a while, you know, but I, I'm, the music I listen to is a little different than most casual music and today's music that you hear on the radio all the time just drives me nuts. I can't listen to it for long periods of time, so. And that radio, like I said, it just, it's, it's, it's temperamental, it's, it drives me nuts. So I'm, I've actually already been in there so it won't be a problem to get it out, but getting the new radio in there would be a, definitely a plus and hopefully we'll get that bolt out and uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes.